Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is Buckalo. Thanks again for watching my video, and thank you again for subscribing. This is, I would like to introduce my friend, my very good friend and filmmaking buddy, Adam, <laughs> Mother F and Genis, right here. And uh, he's going to sit here with me. We thought up a good idea for our trailer reaction today for, uh, what was that, Adam? Monday Madness. Monday Madness. And uh, we're going to go with the Mad Max, because Fury Road's coming out with old boy. And uh, we're going to watch the, not the first Mad Max with uh, Mel Gibson, but the second one, because we thought it was more like the Fury Road that's coming out. So we got the trailer up here, using the Xbox on the big screen. That's how I like to do it. <laughs> A lot of people like watch it off of their um, laptops. Got it down here. All right. And here we go. Hey, Skipping the ad. Here it goes. <laughs> this looks really old. That's what we were expecting. The original. <laughs> like the crazy guy in the background. God, this world Dude with the mohawk. Is that who Nicholas Holt's supposed to be playing? Look at. <laughs> Like Jason dressed up Just as walk a away. <laughs> Magic Mike. Jason dressed up as Magic Mike. See, they're after the oil. Well, the gas. Gas. I wonder if that's what the next movie's gonna be. Like they're trying to get the gas. Yeah, it'd be really. It, it's all up in the air if this is supposed to be a, a remake or a sequel or a prequel. But who knows where the story's gonna go with this new one. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, what was the one after this? Uh, Thunderdome? Oh, yeah, Thunderdome yeah. was good. With Tina Turner. <laughs> master Blaster. The Master Blaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Man. This movie, I've seen this movie so many times. Probably good for its time, you know, a little bit past my generation. Well, I bet my dad got a good kick out of this kind of stuff. Yeah, I like this movie. Oh, it's decent, yeah. Mel's really young, dude. Look at it. He's young. He looks younger in this than he does in Lethal Weapon. And that's probably one of the first things I remember him in. Talk to you, Mike. You're blowing me. That guy they show the whole damn movie through the trailer, pretty much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These trailers back in the day. I wonder if they're going to do a bunch of different stuff like they did with uh, this movie and the next one. Just based off of, you know everyone who dies and who lives. Right? Hopefully, yeah, the characters are different, you know, just different right all together. I mean, these guys were famous for their time. Uh, probably even more so than Mel Gibson was just the guy right now with the other actors in this. In, in, oh, yeah. In the next movie, though... For the new Mad Max, there is a bunch pretty, pretty big cast there. there. I mean, yeah, you got uh, Nicholas Holt. Uh, I mean, look at starring yeah. Mel Gibson. That's the only that person they showed. Big, big name, yeah. Also, so that, that was it as far as the Mad Max 2 trailer. Also, Mad Max is coming out <laughs> start up on us. as the game. So that they're, cool. they're doing a video game based yeah. on the Fury Road. Yeah, I imagine that's I, pretty cool. I think it's for the Fury Road. Well, well, they had in production, I believe, before that though. So the Mad Max would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, dude, I would play that game. Oh yeah, <laughs> it almost reminded me of uh, what was that one that came out with Borderlands or some crap? For oh the video games. yeah, yeah. It's kind of the feel I got from that. Yeah, that's Borderlands where they're out and uh, I downloaded Borderlands. That was a it still is a good game because oh, I keep adding sure. stuff on. Yeah, dude. So, I mean, that was, uh, I think I probably would have been psyched for something like that if I was, like, 80 years old, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was back in 19-whatever right. that made it. Going to the theaters <laughs> to see that one. Yeah. Be pretty psyched to see that kind of uh, action. They, you, we were talking about this earlier, how... Um, 
he was watching MacGyver earlier, <laughs> and it, we just thought of how much production, uh, like money, they put into that production for some TV series back in the day. Crazy things, kinds of explosions, and it, you know, it looks like they did the same kind of stuff here. Spent a lot of money on explosions and all types of stuff. So uh, cars flipping up and yeah. upside down and whatnot. But uh, all right, well, we're going to cut this off, and we're gonna set up the Fury Road trailer. Oh, whoa, okay, welcome back. Now we are starting the Mad Max Fury Road trailer. Enjoy. Welcome back to Monday Madness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Already like it better already. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like my era. Ooh. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Jeez, that looks really good. Wow. It just looks so crazy. Alright, it's amazing how far film has come, obviously. And that's really what we want to show. <laughs> exactly, that's what this whole thing was about. Everybody's gone out of their mind. We were kind of limited with our resources 30 years ago or 20 years ago, whenever they made that first one. Out here, everything hurts. You want to get through this? Do as I say. A little sandstorm coming. A little play on his words from the first one. I think I put you right. <laughs> Charlize. It's a lot crazier. Well, it looks like the directors oh, and the writers oh, gave a lot more for the actors to work with, though. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they put a lot into this. Oh, yeah. This looks crazy. I mean, yes, they used their fair share of special effects CGI, but I also did hear that they did do a lot of this stuff live action. Using real, you know, explosions and cars. Stuck in. This movie looks freaking insane. Nicholas Holt. This movie looks like the babblings of a mad man. <laughs> <laughs> but it speaks to me on so many levels. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of CGI right there, but it still looked awesome. It is. That's like a modern day, freaking back in the day opera. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's basically the music from it. It's like a live action opera. Oh yeah, dude. Well, what I like about it is. Uh, they gave the guy that, you know, made the original to him the opportunity to do this one, and that's so cool, you know, because you always get this bullshit about, like, oh, is he going to do it better than the original director of it? Well, there's no fucking debates here, buddy. It was the original director, and I think he did a way better job than it's his original. Just like all the other directors who always want to update their movies. Look at Star Wars. Look at the added scenes they right, put in. Right, right, right. If he could have done it today, he would have done them different. Yeah, exactly. Now all of a sudden he got to do it today, and psh, you know, night and day doesn't even state right. how different these are. Yeah, it's almost like what? If, how do you guys? Maybe that was his original vision, and he couldn't quite get it with Mel and yeah, <laughs> the rest back in of the day. day. Yeah, <laughs> he couldn't get it with Mel back in the day. But it's always great to reamp a franchise like this, and I think it looks awesome. Oh, we'll go see yeah. it. We'll go see that shit. Definitely Sweet. looks badass. Plus, so, uh, Bane is uh, right up there as one of the actors I've <laughs> oh, been watching yeah, a lot Bane, of, Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think, I love Nicholas Holt, man. I like, did you ever see him in as he played that zombie? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Warm Bodies or whatever. Like, I, Charlie Sanger, it's been a while since I've seen her, too. Charlize, yeah. She picked a crazy role to come back in. No crap, yeah. But I could see her as a, a tomboy kind of chick who'll uh, kick your ass. I wouldn't want to find Charlize there. She'd kick my ass. She looked good. <laughs> yeah, well, even with the shaved head, I would take that. Not many people, <laughs> not many women can pull off the shaved head. Right, right. Demi did it in uh, yeah. G.I. Jane. Demi. So, 
Charlize is following in the hot, hot footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> Right on. Well, we would like to take a second for all you people that have uh, taken the time to subscribe to this channel to mention a couple other channels. I mean, this is Adam. He's got a, uh, a YouTube channel as well. And uh, But the real big project we're working on right now, and it's actually a channel for YouTube called Soul Imagination Productions. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, just a film channel that we work on our projects that we have in our heads and that we've come together and you know decided stuff that we want to work on on our on our free time to uh, bring to to our viewers and uh, to the world basically so. yeah we really appreciate you just checking it out leave us some comments some feedback hit that subscribe button I mean this is what we really want to do our projects are very important there's only a, a couple on there right now our production is starting off you know slow but steady we're just like the turtle in that race we're not in a hurry it's, things are gonna get better but I, I think you'll like what we're doing for sure yeah we got two movies on there right now uh, the first one was the it's more or less an improvisational we kind of had some structure and some thought put but we j basically just put the us out on the film and we just kinda came up with the, the dialogue that you will see on that if you go watch it and then we have a short of a thing that we did um, uh, called The Bad Friend, and then we got a trailer coming out uh, for a, th th something we worked on, uh, The Setup, which is uh, kind of a, uh, you know, a mysterious um, government plot thing going <laughs> on there. So uh, that's all I have. Do you have anything else, Adam? No, very exciting stuff to come yes. this summer, though. We're working with some great people. Uh, it's it's really fun. You should check out all these YouTube sites of all our friends. I mean, we have uh, Josh Buckner. He's doing some great things on his YouTube channel. He's uh, Buck Nasty is representing on his motorcycles. That's what he does. If you're into that, we have uh, Nuclear Shadows is also a, a great, great one to watch. They're putting out some. Real fun stuff, good stuff to watch. Obviously, it's an honor for me to be here today on this channel, my <laughs> friend B's Thanks, channel. Man. Great I channel. I love these. the reactions he does. I was very, very honored to be asked to, to do this. This is really, really cool. Yeah, I, I had a great time, man. I think, I think, uh, you know, it was really fun reviewing those and seeing the differences in film that where film has come and. Uh, I was honored on having him on my channel today, so the feeling was mutual, and uh, once again, thank you guys for watching, and thank you for subscribing. Have a good evening.